Hi, this is Makar and today I'll be talking about the war updates in Ukraine for January uh, 3rd. So um, let's go to um, to the loss, Russian losses. So as of today, um, there are 108,190 Russian personnel being liquidated in uh, Ukraine since February 24th. That's plus 750 uh, in the, during the last 24 hours. Also, Ukrainian army destroyed three Russian drones, um, six artillery systems, seven APVs, five tanks, one helicopter, um, and uh, 10 vehicles and fuel tanks. Um, okay, so let's go to uh, the map. But before that, I would like you to see uh one video um so this is a video of so-called captain so-called captain heimers so this this is a ukrainian military uh a captain of the heimers team um uh, name is unknown and disclosed so um he will be saying um look at like look at his uh, obviously the voice has changed um but look at his uh, appearance He's like a, I don't know, like a Terminator. Um, so um, as a Ukrainian, I'm really proud of uh, Ukrainian soldiers being like like this guy. Um, so he's saying that uh, um, Russian soldier, um, he's addressing his speech to Russian soldier, um, share the information, the coordinates of um some ammo storages, some uh, fuel storages, uh, tanks, um, and other uh, equipment um, spots. Um, and Heimers will strike at those uh, spots instead of striking at, uh, you know, places where um, personnel lives, like uh, the one in Mar uh, Makivka um, two days ago or three days ago, three. Um, so instead of striking at uh, human personnel, Heimers will be striking at um, tanks and, you know, other equipment. Um, 45 seconds video. That's, I mean, in my opinion, that's really impressive. Anyway, let's go to the map. So in uh, Chernihiv region, over here, Russian army shelled uh, Lipivka and Yelena of Chernihiv region. Over here in Sumer region, Russian army shelled uh, Wolfene, Pavlivka, uh, Pokrovka and Maiske, uh, these four towns. Um, let's look at the Kharkiv region. In Kharkiv region, right here. Russian army shelled uh, Strelecha, Staritsa, Ogirceva, Vovchansk, Orhimivka, uh, Kamenka of Kharkiv region, all of these towns. Then we're gonna go to Kupyanisk area, which is right here. Um, a lot of things to discuss. Russian army shelled Novomlinsk, uh, Tavirzhanka, Dvorichna, Leman Perši, Vilshana, Kupyanisk, Kucherivka, Orlanka. Kirilivka, Kislivka, Kotlerivka, Tabayevka, and Persia Travneva of Kharkiv region. All of these towns. Moving south. Uh, Salatova area, right here. Russian army uh, shelled Novom... Uh, no, uh, Novo Selivske, Andreevka, and Stelimachivka. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Stelimachivka, right here. Uh, Kremina area, right here. Russian army shelled uh, Makivka, Plashanka, uh, Nevsky, Chernovo, Popivka, Terne, and Dibrova of Luhansk region. 
and Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Makievka and Plashanka, right here, right here. As you can see, uh, Russian army tries to advance uh, over here, um, as, you know, um, that's a gray zone between two armies, right, two controlled areas. As you can see, um, you know, the attack was already at um, uh, Ukrainian controlled territory. Um, so they are advancing here, um, but um, they tried to, but unsuccessful. Okay, um, Kremina, uh, I mentioned this area. So uh, in the last few few videos, I was mentioning that um, New York Times published um, an article about Kremina and why Kremina is so important for uh, uh, both Russia and Ukraine. Um, and I said that I'll be publishing a video. Um, I did. Um, the link will be in the description and at the end of this video as well. Um, so you can check out this video and let me know in the comments um, if you like that format. Um, you know, because it's not like daily updates. It's a little bit more, you know, um, talking. Um, so let me know um, your feedback. Um, okay. So... Um, we're gonna go to Donetsk region right here. Um, uh, actually, it's still Luhansk region. Bilohorivka, Ukrainian uh, military repelled Russian attacks near Spirna and Bilohorivka. Uh, and Solidar, right here. Russian army shelled Berestovaya, Vasela, Yakovlevka, and Solidar. And let me zoom in. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Parayizna and Solidar. Right here and right here. Um, okay, Bakhmut area, Russian army shelled Bakhmut of Donetsk region, uh, and uh, Ukrainian military pelt Russian attacks near Krasnohora, Pidhorod, and Bakhmut as well, um, all of these areas. Um, moving, so there was a frontline development, let's see, really briefly. <laughs> That's Bakhmut. And if I look at the timing, so as of uh, January 2nd, uh, the front line, so as you can see on January 3rd, uh, Russians pulled back a little bit. So now they don't control this small area. That's, you know, tiny development, but still uh, worth mentioning. So let me zoom in a little bit. Um, too much but let's see so they pulled back uh, from this area um, obviously it's uh, less than 1,000 feet which is uh, I believe less than 300 miles uh, meters so that but still anyhow let me zoom out a little bit and go to this map uh, oh uh, I have a video from Bakhmut um that's gonna be right here um nope. where is it okay so that's the video of hold on let me start buffer it uh so that's a video of uh ukrainian soldiers from azov battalion um going through bakhmut as you can see Buildings are destroyed um, completely from from Russian shelling. Um, there is a Ukrainian flag on the on the electrical pole. Um, so yeah, let's watch this video. Somebody used to live here before Russia invaded. Okay. 
Okay, so um, let's go back to the map and we're gonna look at Toretsk area right here. Russian army shelled Kostantinivka, Stupochki, Klishivka, Andreevka, Bilahora, Dulievka, Kordyumivka, Pivnichne, and Donetsk, uh, and uh, New York of Donetsk region. Um, okay. Then we're gonna go to Avdiivka right here. Uh, Russian army shelled Vesele, Berdichi, Avdiivka, and Vodine. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Avdiivka right here. Um, then Marginka. Um, what is happening? Anyway, Marinka is over here. Russian army shelled Marinka, Georgievka, and Novomikhailivka. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Marinka. All of these three towns right here. Uh, Volodar area. Um, oh, I have a video from Marinka. Um, it's gonna be... Where is it? Uh, hold on. That's the video. 17 seconds. A short video of Ukrainian um, soldiers. Yeah. Everyone survived in this blast but look at the look at the results that's what russians do look it's <clears throat> okay um russia is a terrorist state what i can say Okay, um, let's look at Vuhledar area. So Russian army shelled Novopil, Velika Novosilka, Zolotaniva, and Vuhledar. Uh, moving west to the Parisia region. That's a lot of towns being shelled. Um, so all of these towns you, you see on the screen right now. So Russian army shelled. I'm gonna list these towns. Uh, Olhivske, Zelene Hai, Gulepole, Dorozhnyanka, Zalizniczne, Gulepilske, Cherivne, Novodonilivka, Orichiv, Novodonilivka, Malishirbake, Stepove, Kaminske, and Plavni of the Parisian region. Um, okay, uh, in Tokmak, right here. Um, so there is no updates on Tokmak, but um, there are videos uh, of the results of uh, obviously. Uh, Ukrainian shelling um, of um, the Russian base in Tokmak. So let's see the result of the shelling. Um, so they're trying to like um, uncover whoever is has survived. Hopefully, they there is no survivors because the occupiers and invaders. Um, but yeah, that's what is happening. Um, okay, then in Dnipropetrovsk region, right here, uh, Russian army shelled uh, Pridnipropetrovsk and uh, Pridnipropetrovsk near Cherno uh, Chervono Grigorivka, and Chervono Grigorivka. My bad. These two towns. Moving uh, to Kherson, Kherson uh, region, Russian army shelled Kherson city, Delenivka, Ingenerna, Molodizhna, Antonivka, and Berislav of Kherson region. Um, so also Russian army shelled Kherson uh, city was uh, uh, unallowed, prohibited, um, phos phosphoric, or I'm not sure about the, the correct word but um to describe it but i have a video um so this weapon is um is not allowed to use by uh, i believe united nations so it looks like a fireworks but when this um drops fall down uh, so they uh, fire up everything that they touch so um the person if they think, uh, they think touches um, anyone or anything, there'll be fire. So um, 
basically the things can you know kill anyone in the radius of um, this you know the the shelling um, so this is um, for sure a prohibited weapon um, and Russians did it over her son um, this night okay we're gonna go to Mykolaiv um, so in Mykolaiv, in Ochakiv, Mykolaiv region, Ochakiv, uh, explosions were reported in Ochakiv, uh, right here. Um, and I have my last video, uh, not video, the photos of Kherson, uh, of Crimean Bridge, which is, uh, let me zoom out a little bit, which is right here. You remember that I believe it was put in some Thursday, October... 10th or 9th and or 8th um the first half of october um the the, the bridge exploded um so the rough photos uh from satellite that you know as you can see the bridge is not being repaired so yes there is a la lane for cars so a part of the bridge still works um so it can be used but um as you can see, that's January 3rd, and graphic by Brad uh, YAFR, um, Copernicus. Um, as you can see, bridge is still, you know, still destroyed in, in, in these two spots. I mean, it can be used still, but, um, you know, the capability of the, of the bridge is, you know, decreased since, since October. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Um, if you like this video, please um, share it with, with your friends and um, click on like. I would really appreciate it. And um, thanks for watching and have a nice day.